Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, a premier NCAA Division II athletic member, consisting of 14 prestigious institutions. The first episode of the RMAC Showcase aired in October of 2004. That first episode featured a football showdown between Shadron State and Colorado Mines. The Ore Diggers won 40-39 thanks to a 400-yard passing day by Chad Freehoff, who would appear a few episodes later with the Harlan Hill Trophy as the top player in NCAA Division II football. Freehoff will be inducted into this year's RMAC Hall of Fame. Danny Woodhead also made his first appearance on that first showcase that day. He rushed for 260 yards to Mines in that loss. He would go on to become the all-time leading rusher in NCAA history and was a frequent guest of the RMAC showcase. He's now something of a national celebrity with the New England Patriots. In the spring of our first year on the air, we got our first look at then Mesa State pitcher Sergio Romo. That year he went 14-1 with a 2.46 earned run average and 129 strikeouts and 124 innings. In October, Romo was on the mound as the San Francisco Giants won the World Series. His second ring as a major leaguer, Romo would later appear on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And we are joined now by head coach of the Metropolitan State College of Denver Roadrunners, Mike Dunlap. Coach, thanks for joining us in studio on the RMAC Showcase. During the first few years of the show, Mike Dunlap of Metro State was a frequent guest of the RMAC Showcase. Here he's in studio with Chris Fitzpatrick, who's now a producer with CBS Sports in New York. Dunlap left Metro State after the 2006 season and is now the head coach of the NBA's Charlotte Bobcats. We first profiled Shane Carwin on the RMAC Showcase number 60 back in September of 2009. The All-American football player and wrestler from Western State was a rising star in mixed martial arts. He would get a title shot against Brock Lesnar the following year and is one of the most popular fighters in the UFC. Carwin was one of the stars of The Ultimate Fighter on FX this past season. We've seen numerous national championships come from the RMAC since we first signed on. The Fort Lewis men's soccer team won their first NCAA Division II title in our first year. They've gone on to win three national championships. Former Fort Lewis coach Jeremy Gunn went on to the University of Charlotte, where he guided the 49ers to the Division I championship game last year and is now the head coach at Stanford. In all, 23 teams have won national titles since the RMAC Showcase began. In 2006, we had two within an hour of each other. The Adams State women's cross country team captured the national championship in Pensacola, Florida, while across town, the Metro State women's soccer team also won the national title. Of course, there are hundreds more stories we have told since signing on and still thousands more to tell.